what I'm saying? And the 144 being raised up, the house of David. You got brothers out here claiming to be the house of David, and they're not even the house of David, man. You got people out here making up fake shit. You got bug outs from the heathen side. You got bug outs from the Hebrew Israelite side. And they've all been trying to claim all these things, bro. And it's not even similarly accurate or anything, bro. You got people trying to make Mashah, David. You know, that's necromancy, the reverence and, and revering and worshiping of men. But how can you, hey, let's just get right to the point, man. It's 144. Mm. Man, Ashton, man, how can you be of the house of David when you're going against David, bro? Mm -hmm. Right to the point, man. It's 144. Man, Ashton, man, how can you be of the house of David when you're going against David, bro? All right, Shalom. This is her one by Nyasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. When they call Halayim, La Yahawa, by Hashem Hawashai, by Hashem Harakakwadash, my mouth. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalawan to you, Akim, and Nagwati, my children, that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. All right, Shalawan to the Lions Den camp. Yo, um, it's going to be an ugly road we got to walk down. But I decided to uh, play the video. And respond as the video is playing because this dude is like saying too much man um we got a self-proclaimed king a guy calling himself king david his young brother i say young jake um we you know those that have been in this truth for a while we've seen it before i've talked to people face to face that have told me they're king david that have told me they're they are uh, Gabriel. That's the next one. You may hear that. Motherfucker, look, look right in your face and say, hey, I'm Gabriel. <laughs> it's like, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I mean, yeah, it's true that you can entertain angels on the wares, but yeah, I know. Yeah, I know this bug out some looks our damn people, man. And this is one of them, flat out. All right, so without prejudging, which I could. Let's get into it. I'm gonna play the video and one thing, man. One one thing these guys like to do is this. They'll make a public statement such as I'm they're saying that King David they jump out and say that. And then they um put this disclaimer with it. I'm not bugged out. If that's what you're thinking. This is serious. It's not a joke. I'm not crazy, as you haters gonna be calling everybody haters. Bro, if you, if you think people are haters, don't put it out in the public, man. Because people are gonna have an opinion. It's not hate, it's an opinion. All right? You're dealing with people's belief and their faith. And you coming out saying you're, you're in the forefront of that. You're King David in these last days. So people are gonna be like, whoa, what? Just to see if you are or to see if you're not. So let's get into it with with that disclaimer in place. Let's check him out. Hey, disregard the creepy creepy music. Hope I don't get a copyright strike for that shit. But he got some creepy ass um, theatrical Halloween type music in the background. I'm not gonna spend too much time with Shalom, it. Shalom, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, all uh, praises to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakakwadash. Peace, blessings, Shalom, to the elect and house of David. I just want to preface this video by uh, saying that this is not a game. This is not some bug out material. Boom. There you go. Told you. <laughs> I told you. Yeah, I told you. You gotta, um, you gotta, uh, all right, because we're not supposed to just believe every word somebody damn say and shit. Because, um, we have bug outs. They throw anything out there, and our job is to be on top of it and check it out and see, you know. 
but uh, what a what a a deceiver will do is they put disclaimers in place to try to project a, a, a certain way of thinking on you. Don't judge me. I'm gonna say this, but don't hate on me. I'm gonna say it in public though. You know, keep your opinions to yourself. I don't care what you think about me. I know you're gonna say it's not according to prophecy, but <laughs> it's like, yo, shut the fuck up. Just tell me what you gotta say, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit Alright I'm gonna keep going with this 1 Corinthians 2 And um let's start from 14 Just real quick man Um Verse 12 Now we have not received the spirit Of the world but the spirit Which is of Yahweh, That we might know the things That are freely given to us of Yahweh. All right, through the understanding and wisdom. Which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of Yahweh, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Yet he himself is judged of no man. All right, I meaning that judgment gonna come from Yahweh Shai in that day. So if you believe you King David, hey, you got to deal with the judgment in that day if you're wrong. You know you're gonna be let down and confounded. All right, you can lead a lot of people astray if you're wrong, man. This ain't the time for it. But I'm gonna hold that thought. For who have known the mind of Yahweh Shai? So like it, yeah, it says, but he that is spiritual judgeth all things. So if you call yourself spiritual, we're supposed to judge all things. We can't just listen to these fools. Let me keep going. I wasn't caught in this truth by worldly means. To put in all this work seven years later. Just we were... What the fuck? We wasn't called in this truth by worldly means. It's like they're speaking to you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't called in this truth by worldly means to all of a sudden fall out the truth and start bugging out. That's exactly what you did. That's called stating the obvious. Because it's obvious to him, too. But the problem with him is. Um, he's stuck in his ways he's stuck in that mindset man um, you don't need it man you don't need that to, you shouldn't need all that to carry you to have you in his truth just, just have a humble walk and believe in you how shy and he's going to tell us who we are in the kingdom man a lot of, a lot of us could be important people you know um, but it, it has no bearing right now, man. If a person is King David, which a lot of us believe uh, Masha is King David, but if he's on the earth, King David, then that day would present itself. Not somebody coming out saying, I'm King David. I, I, they were told to me last night. It's going to be King David because of the actions. Just like John was Elijah because he came in the spirit and power of John of Elijah. Not showing up saying I'm Elijah because of numerology and shit like that. He's gonna he's gonna be moving in the spirit of King David. And the only one that has done that is Masha. That started the what's called the House of David. Uh he died in the truth, sealed his work. Could be him, you know. But if King David's on the earth, hey so be it. We'll see you in that time. All right. But uh, First Timothy's four and two. Uh, I'm sorry, four and one. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith. Look at it. This guy here departed from the faith. The faith is in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Not going out saying you King David. You're going to depart from the... He said, yeah, I didn't, I was, didn't come into the truth. And then, to all of a sudden, just start bugging out. That's, that's exactly what you did. 
That's exactly what you did. Got into this damn truth. And then the truth started bugging the hell out now. And I blame Mississippi Maniac for this. The guy of the of War. Meaning no light. He ain't got no light on him. You know, the Mississippi Maniac. I blame them. Because um, he the one pushing that vibration out there. Saying, any of you can be King David. Who cares, man? How about any of you can be the elect? Let's get the hell out of here. That's the focus. All right. Um, either way, we're not going to be freed and delivered by King David. We're going to be delivered and freed from bondage by Yahushua. So that's the focus. All right. Um, so in the light of times, we're in the light of days. Some shall depart from the faith, man, giving heed to, to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And one of those doctrines of deception is gematria, which is numer goes into numerology and shit. And uh, what would you call the word? Um, trends, N numerical trends. See, he probably didn't know that. Numerical trends. That's all he's doing is looking at the damn trend of some bugged out mysticism. Necromancy. Well, mysticism. Because he had to... This guy has a, a, a partial understanding of the word necromancy. All right. It says, and doctrines of devils seducing spirits, man. That's what this guy is dealing with, seducing spirits. And one of those seducing spirits is La'a War, seducing people out there to start stepping up saying they're King David. Stripping away what the apostles put out there. You know, verse two, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared within hot iron, man. See that? So his mind, his conscience is seared. It's singed in his spirit that he's King David through this gematria shit, this numerology. See, I don't deal with you cats that have been dealing with numerology. I, um, there's a lot of cats that say, yeah, man, he got number nine in it. Nine means close to God. Yo, tired of you motherfuckers, man. Say nine in Hebrew, then we can talk. Even then, I won't believe you. You know, so. But yeah, man, um, a lot of these people that be into the, what is that stuff called, man? Sage. Come in your house and start moving sage around. They say, I'm going to do a lesson on that. They say sage is a, uh, clears our spirits and shit that's mysticism man because sage doesn't clear our shit like clear fart out of the room with bad smell but what it does is it releases endorphins in the, in the person's body causing them to feel happy instead of negative so it basically gets the negativity out of yo these silly out of a person i don't want to point the script screen and say you but out of a person so it gets the negativity out of a person, meaning through chemical means, not something like, ooh, we got negativity today. So watch those guys, too. You're going, they're going off, period, man. You're going off, bringing in paganism into this truth, man. And look where it gets you, man. All right? Dark road. So let's see what he's talking about. I ain't even played the damn video yet. So he calling himself King David. I may skip it so he can get to the point. Let's see. Go off the deep end. I came in this work because I am who I am, and angels gave me this order to do this work, and they directly told me that it was from the Heavenly Father and the Heavenly Son. And they told me to tell y'all because I. All right. He said, They. He said, The angels told him to tell us, y'all. All right. See, the angels told him to tell us. Let's get something real quick. This is Isaiah 8 and 20. To the law and to the testimony. Testimony of Yahweh Shai and the scriptures, man, the prophecies. If they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them, man. All right. All right, this is Galatians 1 and 8. 
It says, but though we, though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. So we're going to find out if this man, if this man is accursed or not, you know, because he's bringing in a different doctrine, saying that he's King David. Um, the angels brought it to him. Now he's bringing in gematria, which is numerology, goes into numerology. You know, so he's bringing in a new doctrine. Say that he says from angels. And I'm sure he ain't going to say they came into his house and talked to him face to face. So I'm sure he's saying he either died and saw an angel or he dreamed. You know, in a coma or some shit. You never know. Whatever the hell happened with the dude, it ain't right. I knew was lucid as I was actually dead. Okay. All right. And all I could think about was learning the full, deeper understanding of these scriptures past the false Christian interpretations. That's why I'm die off the car because I had knowledge of the elect. Yeah, I think uh, Dayath means door and elect is uh, Bakar, by Bakayar. Yeah, you know, um, people name themselves these names, you know, like Gorilla Hebrew, General Yohanna. And now you got this guy, you know. So, let's keep going. What do you say? I was told I was the elect. All right. And furthermore. Okay, we're being told we're the elect. What does that make different about you, homie? I know the difference is I was told. I had dreams of, of angels when I was young, you know. I heard the angel come straight to me, the Lord's voice. Say, keep your mind on me. Keep your mind on me. Remember the secret place I gave you. That's it. That's all you need, man. Just remember the secret place, do the work. Not told me I was a, the elect. Told me this. You know, people can scoff and they can say this and that and they can See, believe in necromancy. See? See? Disclaimer. See false doctrines that Mashah is King David. That's fine. Just keep that same energy, man. And just understand. So now he's saying it's black magic to believe that King Masha could be King David. All right? As the apostles say, possibly. You know? And, it's, and and it doesn't matter if you think you're King if you if you think he's not King David, it's okay. If you think King David is gonna show up in his last days, hey, it's okay, man. That's not gonna stop it from being delivered. But you better not say he's not, and then you start saying you are, because a lot of responsibility comes with that. You could be, you're most likely tangling the prophecies and the scriptures and doctrine, right? And you're stepping out in front of another man, uh, glory. So it's best to just stay humble, do the work, move in the spirit like John was moving. Somebody asked him, was he Elijah? He was like, no. <laughs> he said, no, I'm not. It doesn't matter right now. But he knew he was set up to return the hearts of the children to the fathers. That's what John, Elijah, Abba Bivens was set up to do. Now, they, I'm sure they don't. They probably don't believe that Abba Bivens was Elijah. Hey, man, you know, so let's, let's, let's hear some more of this. I want him to get to the point. So I might have to skip. But I want you to see the mindset. And the disclaimers that this dude is putting out there. Safety, safety, you know, cushion. I know you're going to scoff and do, do, do. No, so what? Don't put it out there then. That I know I'm telling the truth. I can't put you in my body. I know who I am. You know what I'm saying? And I know who sent me and I know why I was sent. I was never sent to try to be some fake guy. 
I was never sent to try to be some fake guy. What the, what the hell does that mean? Anyway, if you're King David, so what now? What we do now? What do we do now? What are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do now? Now that you're King David, you got fucking King Philip, the King, what's his name? Uh, I forgot his name, man. The fucking King over there, Edomite dude, but Queen, uh, Edomite Elizabeth. You got him being crowned king, and now you got this guy crowned. He just thought, oh shit, he didn't probably seen that and was like, you know what? <laughs> this is the seventh year since the angels came to me, and in the seventh month, this was the time to roll it out. And to the he said, the seventh year since the angels came to him. Now I would like to hear a video of how the angels came to you, bro. If you're saying they came to you, I know you watch our videos. I see you on Mississippi camp comic boards and all that, you know. I don't be searching through his comic board just for you weirdos. If I'm about to rebuke somebody, I always read the comments first to see. It's like read reviews on a product before you rebuke somebody or you check out their doctrine. And I see this guy on there a lot. And, um... That's just it. Uh, let's keep playing. The whole process I've had to learn the unlearned way without any brothers. You know, and in the West Coast, there's not too many camps. So that's my story. So he said he had to learn in an unlearned, in an unlearned way without any brothers. So he feel like that's special. It's actually dangerous. That's why we need elders. Me, I consider myself um, nobody. But I've been in the truth for a long time, man, for a nice little while, right? I'm sure uh, people know that out there, by example. Um, what the hell is dude say? I can't keep his fucking thoughts. Let me see. Let me just say it again. Learn it way without any brothers. Yeah, yeah, no brothers. So, so what? Start from the bottom and teach. And the Lord will send you brothers. Learn from the elders. Study the doctrine. Watch people's videos. Link up with camps. And, you know, whatever. Some of these camps ain't worth linking up with. They got a lot of tyrants and weirdos in them. You know, they call itself GMS, all of that. But, that's again, got a lot of weirdos that creep in unawares, man. There's always bad apples in every bunch. It's like Mississippi Maniac. He got exposed. Just, you know, a few more need to be exposed. Um, but this guy here is exposing himself, man. Can it bring a good tree bring forth evil fruit? It's not, clearly not a good tree. And he said, um, let me get that real quick. Okay, he said he was basically alone. Right? But this is what happened to him. This way he damaged himself. Sirach 6 and 2. Extol not thy heart thyself in the counsel of thine own heart, man. See that? And that's what he's doing. Let me get the word extol, you know, for us illiterate people out here. That's nobodies. You got all these kings everywhere and shit. The word extol definition means to um, to praise enthusiastically. Dude, be praising itself, man. The scriptures say, let, let another man's words praise thee, you know. Even if you feel like you're King David, you shouldn't go out teaching it. Shouldn't, shouldn't make it part of doctrine. I believe you can't stop me from believing in myself. The King David wouldn't talk like that. It would just be what it is, and you know, it's prophecy, so it just would be. It would be evident. You know, you trying to stop me from believing in myself? You scoffers and haters out there. 
So to praise enthusiastically, man. All right. Just like Mississippi Maniac, it's your fault. You're part of the problem. Calling, calling it, calling out the elders, saying they don't have the truth, saying you got the truth, and now you like this. Uh, you starting this new thing with King David and GMS, the House of Saul, and y'all, y'all the House of David. And now you got to do like, well, if we're House of David, then I am the king. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get. Oh my goodness. So, it, verse 2, Sirach 6 and 2. Extol not thyself in the counsel of thine own heart, that, thou, that thy soul be not torn in pieces as a bull straying alone. So, your bullshit is straying alone, man. You can't trust that. You gotta, you gotta, um, Link up with brothers and be taught, man, and grow in the faith. I learned alone, but I did it the correct way. I didn't trust my own thoughts. I, I stuck to the script and said I'm nobody, and I was confident in that. But I moved like I was somebody. Big difference. I'm, instead of moving like you're nobody <laughs> and talking like you're somebody. That's what they're doing. So they're like bulls straying alone. They're basically going to destroy themselves and everything in this path. That was you know, something newly grown, beautiful flowers. They're going to destroy all that and they self. All right? Thou shalt eat up thy leaves. And that's what he's doing. He's eating up his own leaves. And lose thy fruit and leave thyself as a dry ass tree. That's going to become a dry ass tree. The doctrine going to be dried up. As he continues down this path, he's going to pull more and more away from what we was taught in the spirit of truth. All right, a lie has to be continued unless you're going to stop it and cut it. This dude should, he should denounce his royal throne. <laughs> That's what he should do. Yeah, they come out tomorrow and say, I'm not King David. Watch how you feel. See how you feel. See if you can move forward in that. Or would you feel like nobody? All right, so I'm going to get to the point. I want to hear him say it. I might have to skip. Yeah, hear the creepy music. You know, and in the West Coast, there's not too many camps. So that's my story. That's my re actual reality. That's your reality. And now I'm going to start showing you guys things. That's my reality. <laughs> Things that I can show you in a physical sense. All right, so he's going to start showing us. Let's see what he's talking about. All right, it says here, and he speaks of himself in third person, which is kind of psychotic. Dayat Bakayar, which he chose that name. You know. Dayat Bakayar, which I think it means door elect. Elect door. Oh shit, that was crazy music. It said, uh, Dayat Bakayar of FTL revealed he is my lock, the wide King David. So he's speaking himself in third person. Let that marinate for a second. Yes, my. Ooh, yeah. Yep, yep. There's some water in here, not wine, and liquor early in the morning. So, yeah, man. FTL revealed it. He's my lock the wad. So, let's get into it now. Uh, how can I go without the, the, the creepy music? Where was it at? Uh, man, all over the scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? At the 144 being raised up, the house of David. You got brothers out here claiming to be the house of David, and they're not even the house of David, man. You got people out here making up fake shit. You got bug outs from the heathen side. You got bug outs from the Hebrew Israelite side. And they all been trying to claim all these things, bro, and it's not even similarly accurate or anything, bro. You got people trying to make money. Hey, also, King David wouldn't trim his, edge up his beard. 
I'm not sure if this guy is edging up his beard or not. But he can he can correct me if I'm wrong. Shaw David. I'll play that back. I'm and they all been trying to claim all these things, bro, and it's not even similarly accurate or anything, bro. You got people trying to make Mashah David. You know, that's necromancy, the reverence and, and revering and worshiping of men. But how can you hey let's just get right to the point, man? It's one forty four. Uh oh, it's one forty four. Ben Ashton, man, how can you be of the house of David when you're going against David, bro? Uh oh. He said it. he dropped the bomb. Yeah, he All my it. bones shall say, he Lord. He dropped this. Oh my goodness. Let's just get right to the point, man. It's 144. Ben Ashton, man, how can you be of the house of David when you're going against David, bro? All right, so yeah, man, I'm gonna play a little bit more, but you guys hear it yourself. This guy said it. We've heard it before, but he um he said he got it from a dream, but I think he's trying to ignore the fact that it's a, it was a dream. You know, you said you did. You say you were asleep. You was in a coma. Either way, you're dealing with a vision or a dream. However you look at it. So it's Sirach 34 and 1. The hopes of a man void of understanding are vain. And this is his hope that he's King David. And what he wants from it is obviously attention. I guess. You don't seem like an attention seeker, but things change. Because the energy he's giving off is like, you don't believe me. You don't have to believe me. Y'all are scoffers. And did it, you know? So he seemed um, resentful, almost envious of King Masha, of Masha. Because this man is not even on the earth, and he's, he receives more attention than some of these guys, more respect and honor for the work he's done. So, the hopes of a man void of understanding are vain. And this dude is lacking understanding. He need guidance in the truth. He need a big brother. You know, and false. The hopes of a man void of understanding are vain and false. And dreams lift up fools, man. And that's what he's doing, trying to lift himself up by this foolishness. By his dreams that he had or visions, he got, I just noticed that he got 14 likes on this joint. <laughs> Somebody said at the bottom, "I knew it." <laughs> Shalom delivered, delivered the fire the old school way. What's the old school way? A lot of you guys are new cats, man. Y'all are new recruits, novices. I'm talking about the old school way. I've been, you know, I've been for a long time, man. You know, you know, new new cats, man, new newbies. Still wet behind the ear, Thomas like King David. All right. I know we all in this for the same token, but it's about pride and boasting yourselves, man. Just show up, do the work, and stay humble. Be quiet and quiet in our business. Showing up, Tony like King David. And anybody say anything, you a scoffer. So rock 34 and 2. And Mississippi Maniac, I'm gonna see you do a video on this shit. You're doing videos on the elders so quick. Do a video on this guy. One of your one of your um your team members in the peanut gallery. Whoso regardeth dreams is like him that catcheth at a shadow and followeth after the wind, man. So he so he caught catching at the shadow and following after the wind dreams just like people used to do in the, with the lottery you know our parents used to do i had a dream, I'm a dream about numbers tonight that was this dude doing dream about fucking necromancy oh what do you call that Jamatra. you know dream about numbers and looking at numbers and matching it up to himself and weird shit um the follower 
and followeth after the wind. So he followeth after the wind, which is vanity in his own heart. The vision of dreams is the resemblance of one thing to another, even as the likeness of a face to a face. All right. So it's like you're looking in a mirror, you know, in a dream. Um, it's t sometimes it'll be prophetic. You may see some likenesses, just like J Joseph saw the famine when he saw the um, the cow, the cattle that was sick in Egypt. You know, so that's the way you pluck a dream apart too. The visions, um, verse four, of an unclean thing, what can be cleansed? And from that thing which is false, what truth can come from it? So if you see the dream and it's false, you shouldn't wake up teaching that shit. You know, I had a dream I was getting clothed with a crown, crown put on my head. So it um, must be King David. <laughs> All right. Sound like Muhammad. So -and -so, the angel Gabriel came and brought him another book that told him to uh, write the Quran. So now the angel showed up to this guy and told him he's King David. I would like to ask him what did the angels look like. I do a lesson on that too, buddy. It says, um, verse 5, divinations. Soof saying and dreams. So this, this guy is dealing with necromancy and uh, or black magic, and also gematria, which goes back to Kabbal Kabbalism and the Talmud and paganism. Period. No way around it. All right. And the heart fancieth as a woman's heart in travail, man. So the heart is what desperately wicked. If they be not sent from the Most High in thy visitation, set not thy heart upon it. All right? And he's saying that the, the, the angel came to his, in his dream. It seemed like he said the, the, the angel told him he's the elect. I don't know if he said he's King David or not. But if an angel come to me and tell me that, I would take it as I'm of the house of David. That's it. Uh, yeah, I must be of the house of David then. I might be one of the elect. I wouldn't say that I'm King David. What will I do with the rest of my tenure here, my time? No, man. You take that and you say, yo, that was something. But I, I, got, I got to be humble so I don't mingle, mix the message. And I shouldn't teach this to people. I should go straight from the scriptures, not from your dream. You know, look at Martin Luther, Lucifer King. That's why I don't like all that, man. A lot of cats be putting dreams up. Too many dreams. I had a dream last night. Then next thing you know, the next day I had another dream. I woke up crying. And I had another dream. Man, who cares about your dreams, man? Just teach. Maybe here and there, you know, it's inspiring. And some of the dreams be deep. But like over and over again, that's a dreamer. That's one of the dreamers. And people, you know, them people in your family that be like, I just boy, I had a dream about you. I'm a dream tonight. I'm a dream. just dreaming. Dream about the lottery. If they be not sent from the most high in thy visitation, set not thy heart upon it. So he's going to say that it was sent from the most high. Well, they sent you on a, um, a self-destructive tip path to say he's King David. And it could be proven that he's not scripturally. But he's saying he can prove it numerically. For dreams have deceived many. See, he deceived himself. And they have failed that put their trust in them, man, in them. So we're supposed to put our trust in the Lord. Don't trust in the dreams, man. Dream telling you, King David, you be like, well, I don't trust that. I trust what the Lord is saying. And, um, the Lord saying clearly we're not going to know who the hell we are we're just going to um, no one knows what we shall be but we know when he shows up we're going to be like him and the least among us shall be as David 
That's all that matters, man. Could he be in the midst? Yeah, I believe so, too. Could it be King Masha? I believe so, too. That's, so, I don't know. I, I don't I don't mess with that. I just say, hey, King Masha is probably King David. According to the prophecies and the work that he's done, the legacy that he left, that's good enough for me, man. But these guys got to have some type of ego. They got to stroke their ego. So, um, yeah, so dreams lift up fools. I wasn't dreaming. I was dead. Same thing. All right. So he, he began to be lifted up from that. And now he bringing in um, wayward, wayward doctrine. Bringing in bitter water with the sweet. So he learned the sweet water from the elders, acting like he didn't. He watched the apostles' videos too. Or he watched some Akim. You know, why he teaching or whatever. Trying to like he didn't. If he never did, he wouldn't know that it was out here. Whatever. So it says this Galatians six and three. For if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. See that's why I like to say I'm nobody. I don't act like nobody. You know, you don't want to say it so much where you believe it. But you want to be, it's, it's better to be nobody in a world full of somebody's because when that world's going to be destroyed. So if you make yourself nobody, the, the Lord will call you and make you somebody. You know, if you, you claim you somebody, the Lord going to show you that you're nobody. Galatians 6 and 4, 3. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. But let every, let every man prove his own work. That's the focus, man. Just do the work. Could I not be King David? King David would be doing the work. He would be wearing sackcloth. Well, the Lord says two witnesses are going to wear sackcloth. Northern kingdom and southern kingdom, the elect. I'm going to be teaching out here. In sackcloth. Well... Why did you tell? Here's another part of this video. I'm not. I don't know, I'm not gonna try to find it. But he told everybody to get slingshots, and now they think he's King David because he said that. I got there's a brother in this camp named Kanak. He now used a shepherd sling. I'm not calling him King David all of a sudden because he brought us. Maybe he is. <laughs> This is hilarious, man. Galatians 6 and 5. For every man shall bear his own burden. That's it, man. Just bear your own burden. Carry our cross. And let's see in the kingdom, man. You know, you, you being King David is, is not going to help anything right now. Think about that. What is that going to do? Why would the Lord tell you, King David, what is it going to do right now? Jacob's trouble ain't here break out yet. All right, so let's go to the next part. And then we'll get some scriptures and close this mess out, man. Because uh, he goes into the gematria. He shows how he, uh, which I'm sure he was looking into this before. It wasn't like done live and then all of a sudden he sees it like, oh, whoa. He was looking into this. This was something he into. It's gematria shit. All right. Let's see. Things that I knew not. False witnesses rising up against the real apostle set up, man. The real apostle set up is apostles of GMS. And this guy is one of the scoffers that's raising up. The horn honking. They rewarded me evil for good to the spoiling of my soul. But as for me, when they were sick, my clothing was sackcloth. That's why I wear the sackcloth, man. That's where he wears sackcloth. All praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rakak Badash for still locked into this video. He put this like compilation, didn't he? He got the whole shit, he got the music behind it. We 
got to understand certain things, man, that men lie, men lie. women lie, numbers don't. Numbers don't. Jay-Z Dramatria. Man, took Jay-Z bars. That's solid right there. If you have lie, women lie, numbers don't. Dramatria. That's solid right there. If you have... Mm, let's just say Gematria is solid. Let's see. All right. So let's look at this real quick. And he said Gematria is solid. All right. So one, one thing I noticed. Gematria is based on Yiddish. Boom. So you had to get around that. That's what they use Gematria, Gematria for. They use it for the Yiddish, the Kabbal. The Talmud. So it goes into witchcraft, man. It's necromancy, as this guy keeps saying. All the signs are there. But um, there's a few other signs I noticed, too. But it goes into mysticism. See that? So this guy is into mysticism. What is gematria? It says, what? Hebrew numerology. And numerology is pagan. All right, we're not supposed to deal with numerology. To hell with numerology. Who cares about all that? You know. And again, man, you know, I'm not taking that from nobody. Any of us could be somebody important. Don't let nobody say, you you know, you're nobody if you feel like somebody. Yeah, but when you come out and teaching and your doctrine, you shouldn't put that in the doctrine. Like your house, I come up to you and say, hey, tell everybody to believe in me. Tell me your house, I. And believe in the Father Yahweh and tell them that they're going to get their king back someday. Even King David. You know, even all their leaders are coming back on this earth someday. And they're going to be in the kingdom in the future. And like, I got the message. All right, now go tell them. And he show up like, I'm King David. <laughs> it's like, yo, no, man. You know, distorted the message, man. In pasta. All right. So Hebrew numerology and the secrets of the Torah, which is, they're talking about the Talmud. Gematria, which this guy used to find to f- find uh, something, some type of trend dealing with numbers. Gematria is a numero- numerological system by which Hebrew letters, which Yiddish is not Hebrew at all, correspond to numbers. All right. And in, and where he's messing up at, he using the Dayat Bakayar is the king. He typed that into the Dramatria reader, whatever the shit is that the witches use. He typed that in. Dayat Bakayar is the king. So what do you think gonna come up? All references that reference the king. I mean, come on, bro. You're playing this trick on yourself. He wrote. We're going to play it. Bayak Bakayar or Dayath is the king. And he want to look that up in numerology. Through numerology and gematria. And what comes up is everything referencing a king. The, the king. And then what's, what's even more scary is that when he typed it in to his numerological reader, what is it called, uh, Gematria, he typed in Hebrew and then English. Dayath Bakayar, that's in Hebrew, is the king, that's English. But he put reading each letter and numbers, you know, numerology, you see what I'm saying? Hey man, you know? Gematria is a numerological system by which the Hebrew letters correspond to numbers. This system developed by practitioners of Kabbalah. All right, Kabbalah, man. So it was developed by them. You can't get away from it. All right. Kabbalah. 
Uh, it says Kabbalah is an ex esoteric method, discipline, and school of thought in Jewish mysticism. For example, Lebowitz called Kabbalah a collection of pagan work. Pag is called Jewish mysticism. Jewish mysticism, pagan collaboration. <sighs> All right. So that's what this guy's into. And the uh, cabal, cabalism goes back to Assyria. All right. So he's he, he in that mindset of the Assyrians. All right. Practitioners of Kabbalah, Jewish mysticism, derived from Greek influence, the Greeks, and became a tool for interpreting biblical texts through the, through the fake Jews. In Gematria, each Hebrew letter is represented by a number. That's in the fake Hebrew, the Yiddish. For example, Alaf, that's not our letter, which are just Ah. And it says in, in bet, which would be ba, they got two different sounds for that. That the Yiddish equals two, and that's not true, man. Because in our language, we have 22 letters, I think it is. And in our language, one is a kad, not a. You know, ba is house, a means head. Or leader, or first, you know. Or authority. That should be a better term for it. So, um, I think in there, Yiddish, the number for six would be like wa. In our language, it's like a wa. Let me see www. But it's like Yiddish. I think in our Hebrew the six is a sha. Sha sha. So anyway, it's, it's a lot that he's not understanding as far as matching numbers to Hebrew letters or symbols. Right, he's dealing with the Yiddish. Uh, the, um, Whatever. Let's get to it. It says one can, one can then calculate the numerical value of a word by adding together the values of each letter in it, and that's what he did with his name that he chose. In the realm of biblical interpretation, commentators base an argument on numerological equivalence of words. If a word's numerical value equals that of another word, a commentator might draw a connection between these two words. And the verses in which they appear and use this to prove larger conceptual conclu conclusions. So I would say following trends. Here, let's, let's see what he's talking about. I'm going to show you. All right, let's see. The understanding, you know, then you'll be able to see things a little deeper in a spiritual way. So, while I was, I don't need to see things deeper in the spiritual way from numbers and numerology. I see things deeper in the spiritual way from the scriptures and through the spirit, not through Kabbalism. All right, so let me just go ahead and make it short for him. He take a long time getting to the point. It says right here, Dayat Bakayar is the king. That's what he typed in. See that? Of course, he's already creating a reference by typing in is the king. I want to see your black ass type in Dayat Bakayar by itself and see what comes up. And even then, I still wouldn't believe your black ass. All right? 
So now he wrote Dayav by Kayar is king, and these are the reference numbers that came up in simple Gematria equals 221 and 1289. So he's saying nobody will deal with him on this. They only go to scriptures. That's the only thing we need to go to is scriptures. We're not about to look all into this witchcraft bullshit and get all tangled up into it because that's how the devil using him trying to get us tangled up into this shit. But I'm going to just speak on it briefly and show you where he's going off. You are the king holder, the key holder. See, number 221, number 221. It's there, so it must be. The waters. I'm of the waters. The crown chakra. See that, the chakra. Yeah, I know. 1289. Uh-oh, 1289. The end time servant. The end time servant. It has to be me. It has to be King David. 221 right there. The pale horse is riding. The pale horse is riding. <laughs> it's like, yo, I can't do it. I can't do it. Look at this, man. So that's what he into, man. Y'all see it. It's cabalism. It's witchcraft. It's mysticism. And, bro, you going off, man. He's dwelling in a gospel group, the sounds of blackness. That was just uh, the sounds of darkness. We'll hear a little bit more. Doing the highway and byway the other day, I said, I'm going to do a gematria about this event. See, because this is new information for y'all, but this wasn't new information for me. You know, and one thing that the Rakakwa Dash has led me to discover is that that gematria is very heavy on my side. Pretty much whatever I put in pertaining to me, it's going to be heavy. And... Yeah, it's heavy. It's a heavy stumbling stone. That's what it is. All right. So, let's get this real quick. Proverbs 14 and 15. So if you believe this guy, just know that you believe the mysticism that he's believing, that he's following, and the cabalism that he's using, and the numerology that he trusts. Proverbs 14 and 15, the simple believeth every word. So if you believe him, and you're like, I knew it. I knew you, King David. The simple believeth every word. But the prudent looketh well to his goings, man. So you're going to watch over everything and check everything motherfuckers say. And I believe in these newbies, man, that's showing up with the same, nothing new under the sun. <laughs> Calling himself King David. Scoffing. You know, they leave a camp, then start talking shit about the camp they was in. I mean, you had no respect for them in the first place. If I leave out of my dad's house, and all, now all of a sudden I'm out of there, I'm telling the world he ain't shit. Well, that's dishonor to myself, because that's my dad. You, you talk shit about the elders, you basically dishonor yourself, because they was your elders. You followed them. All right? So the simple believe if every word, but a wise person going to look well to their goings. You know, check everything. Right, examine the spirit by the spirit. Prove all things. So the dude got to prove it. You can't just make a statement and then put it out there, and show us a bunch of numbers and shit like a lottery card. A fucking um, I've got that football shit that they vote, they bet on, fantasy football ticket. That's what it looked like. So, let me get this. And this is why I decided, to, I mean, it, 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 we could have said, uh, we could have shut the door as soon, as soon as he said some shit. As soon as he said, I'm King David, we could have just closed the goddamn door and be safe. But I decided to um, watch 75% 75, 75 of the video and play about 50% of the video because of this. 
Sirach 11 and 7. Blame not before thou hast examined the truth. So it's been examined. And it smells like shit. It's, it's bullshit. It's a bull strand alone. Calling himself, walking in his own ego. Sound like Jesse Jackass. I am somebody. And that somebody he calling himself is King David. Pointing at the screen like, you, you coming at King David? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, man. It's just madness to me, man. Blame not before thou has rebuked. I mean, blame not before thou has examined the truth. Understand first and then rebuke. All right. Especially when these, these, these novices pop up and throwing out these wayward doctrines. When they do that. You might just jump out there and start coming at them, and they'd be like, see, you don't even know what you're talking about. That's not what I said. So it's like, oh, man, I got to hear what the hell he said so I can rebuke him. You got to, you gotta, just like a doc, a, a physician has to examine the patient and know their sickness before they can try to heal them. That's the whole goal of this. Not to bash the dude and all that. Because if we're going to be that, we just have a wreck session to where we just roast him, roasting him. You know how Jake do, how we like to do, we roast each other. It says, answer not before thou hast heard the cause, neither in interrupt a man in the midst of their talk. All right. So strive not in the matter that concerneth thee not, and sit not in the judgment seat with sinners. So this this matter definitely concerns me and the other Akim and the believers out there. All right. This is our faith. All right, First Timothy 3 and 6. Not a novice, so don't be a novice. A novice is a new recruit that lifts themselves up. Instead of going through the process of growing through the milk, and while you're in the milk, not saying, all right, I'm off the milk now, I need to be on the meat. No, you got to wait. You got to go through some challenges. You got to go through this phase of thinking you're somebody, calling yourself King David, and you got to calm that down, you know. You just realize, like, yo, we're just servants. That's it. Let's just be that for a minute. And the Lord going to raise us up to be kings. All right? We can rule in the spirit. But we don't need a, a King David walking around here right now. Right now, we just need a, a teamwork. We need for the Lord to send workers into the harvest to wake up the elect D down to the youngest child or the weakest brother or woman you know first timothy three and six not a novice lest being lifted up with pride he fall into the condemnation of the devil man all right so this guy is being lifted up with pride and that pride is being fueled by people like mississippi maniac la a -A war that we call him no light All right, so yeah, man. Um, it says, moreover, he must have a good report of them which are without, lest he fall into the reproach and the snare of the devil. And that's what this guy did. He fallen into the, the reproach and the snare of cabalism and pride and ego and misguidance dealing with uh, the guy from Mississippi, the, the maniac. Call him Bert and Ernie. Putting that vibration out there. Saying, yeah, man. We know who King David is. We know he's here. And then he's like, yeah, it's me. <laughs> all right, so they all exposing each other. All right, Jude 1 and 4. And this is, this is why um, I stay away from a lot of guys, man. Because I was in Philadelphia. And I used to meet a lot of people. I've met people from ISUPK. I've watched uh, apostles teach. I watched General Hine and them teach. I watched from different places, all from here to New Mexico, even from Florida. And I've met people who I've talked to them, and they'd be very sane people. And the next thing you know, they get in the car with you, like, yeah, hey, you wanna hang out, study? They get in the car, and they say, you know, <laughs> Guy pull out a fucking sword. 
it's right next to me in the car. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Dude, you got a shank. And he's like, yeah, it's my sword. The Bible says sell everything and carry a sword. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. You know? And you start to realize these people bugged out. And they'll tell you things like, yo, I'm gay. I'm, I'm the angel Gabriel. And he's like, yeah, well, you, you're about to be the angel that gets the hell out of my car. That's what you're about to be. Mr. Angel, <laughs> get the hell out of my car. <laughs> I mean, this is what you run into, man. There's nothing new under the sun, so clout chasers, man. You got clout chasers out of the truth and clout chasers in the truth. You know, you'll got, you got know them by their fruit. We had one guy in this camp, he started teaching and he started bugging out. And when he started bugging out, he traveled right up to New York tried to get around the apostles and stood right in front of them with a fucking farm hat big ass fucking farm hat like this the big farm hats and shit straw hats with the top cut out and he was teaching with that you know you know the motherfucker with the big hat in the in the, in the movies usually the bad guy this thing's all watching I, and he wound up being that you know fell out the truth I'm trying to cause separation and division in, in this camp. So these are signs, man. People call it a gorilla Hebrew. What does that have to do with anything in this truth? General. That's why his camp looks like a um a, 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 a black militia. He's the general. So Jude 1 and 4, for, for there are certain men that crept in unaware. See that? They creep in unaware. They'd be like, I'm GMS. they like, nah. I started seeing that. I was like, you know what? I'm good. And a lot of those new guys started jumping out there making, you a nigga, man. Remember that? And two cronies sticking together, two peas in a pot. And they're getting exposed, man. You motherfuckers getting exposed. Going off on doctrine. Now the other one's scoffing at the elders. You think I'm talking about you? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Indeed. But you got a lot of people that creep that creep into this truth unawares, man. Until they be until they expose themselves. Alright. Who were for there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. So the Lord ordained this guy to be a bug out. It says, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord power in our Lord Yahweh Shah, right? By denying the truth, you're denying the Lord. You know, so what he would say to that is, well, you're denying the truth that I'm King David. <laughs> can't talk to people like that, man. That's why the Lord say, cast not your prayers before swine, man. And you let them believe that dumb shit, but you expose them, and you do this right here. Uh, in Romans 16 and 17, Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them. So you mark them. You say, hey, watch out for that guy right there, man. And he's like, yeah, you can't stop me. Ain't nobody trying to stop you. You go down your path. You take as many as you can with you. You're part of the filter. You're part of the stumbling block. You know, one person trip, there's a crowd behind him running, and the whole crowd fall. That's that what you set up for. Oh, you got all the comments on the board saying, I knew it. How else would we? How else would these people be exposed if this guy's not exposed, you know? Romans 16 and 17. Now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and, and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned and avoid them, man. Avoid they black ass. Avoid them. I don't care how they feel about it, how many disclaimers they put up, and pity parties. No. No, man. All right. But uh, there you go. All right, I'm gonna read this from earlier. Um, Sirach one and thirty. 
Ex extol not exalt not thyself. So like it. Exalt not thyself. It goes hand in hand with the other scripture. And that's what he's doing. He's exalting himself. Saying, I'm king. I'm the king now. I've made it. I've announced it. And you better bow down. You, you're going to get with it. If not, you're a scoffer and you're a hater. <laughs> exalt not thyself, man. Lest thou fall and bring dishonor upon thy soul. And so Yahweh discover thy secrets. And do like, yeah, it's the secrets, right? Well, the Lord is going to discover your secrets. And one of them is this guy thinking he's King David and teaching it as well. You think what the hell you want. Can't nobody take, it, take that from you. But when you teach it, um, uh, you're going to be judged for uh, every idle word that we speak. Right? And, and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation. So the Lord has, has casted this man down. Whether he believes it or not. See, our falling in his truth is not like physical every time. You fall away spiritually. And people can see it. Like, damn, it, 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 it off now. Because thou camest not in the truth to the fear of the Lord, but thy heart is full of deceit. All right? <clears throat> The heart is full of Kabbalism, paganism, and and uh, being uh, gassed up by the Mississippi maniac. Right? Yeah, Mississippi maniac. What's his name? La War. He should blame himself, man. And his, his, his uh, we call him Ernie and Bert. Jeremiah 17 and 9. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it, right? That's why you got to be careful what you teach out here, man. So you come out here in your own vein. Well, I, how you, what you going to do, Jake? They come out with this, this boastful spirit, talking about the elders, talking about Apostle Ricard, talking about all this, talking about uh, uh, Elder Masha, who, who some of us believe is could be King David, but it doesn't matter. We could be wrong, or we could be right. It doesn't matter, man. King David will be revealed uh, someday in the kingdom, however, or now, going into the kingdom. Or is already revealed as King Masha. His work is sealed. He did his work, right? But, um, that's just it. That's all we need to focus on is salvation. We don't need a king right now. He said we're going to seek David our king. But that means us seeking this truth, us seeking the house of David, the men of the Lord, seeking Yahweh Shai, right? seeking our king, which is right, going to righteousness. Not walking around looking for King David. That ain't the focus. All right, we're going to seek our temple, our home, our God, Yahweh, who was the God of King David. All right, so let me get this last precept. I'm going to read this and end it here. Proverbs 16 and 19. Better it is to be of a humble spirit with the lowly. It's better just stay humble. Humble doesn't mean walking around with your head down. Humble means uh, discipline or doing his work. All right, Sub submitting yourself under the mighty hand of the Lord. That's humbling yourself. So it's better to be of an humble spirit with the lowly, the one that's taking the low route, you know, and being not high-minded, calling themselves uh, King David, you know. People like Elijah, he was a little lowly. They asked him who he was. He said, no, nah, I'm not Elijah, man. I'm John. Ooh. All right, but his actions, he was moving in the spirit and power of Elijah. And the only one that's moving in the spirit and power of King David seemingly was King Masha. All right. If he's not, hey, 
King David is on the earth and he'll be revealed in that day. Um, it is what it is, you know, but it ain't this dude. It says what? It's better to be of a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. All right, so. Insecure people or haters or scoffers say, oh, that's arrogant and that's... Yeah, there you go, man. See? Stop taking shots at people, man. You insecure people, arrogant. That's what you are, because you just don't believe me. Man, 